Hey guys, this is TMF. I'm Jose Zuniga. For this week, we're going to be talking about shirt collars. Um, uh, one of our viewers actually made a comment about this and I thought it was actually a really good idea and a topic that's not talked about a lot. There's actually a wide variety of shirt collars and I mean, there's actually some really weird ones. There's like a Batman shaped one. Believe it or not, they're all out there. All right, but we're going to talk about like the four, I got the four main shirt collars. These are the shirt collars that they always look good. They're the ones mostly used and I'm going to teach you how to use them and the basic rules of them. All right. So first up, the band collar. Um, this is not, this is probably one of the least ones you see, but I, it's actually one that I, I really do like, especially in a casual setting. I'm not too fond of them and you know, with suits and stuff, but as you can see in a linen, it's a very good casual shirt and it actually would go great with my white men shouldn't wear t-shirts video where I was actually giving you guys other options. This shirt is so light and so breathable, it feels like you actually are wearing a t-shirt. And band collars are great for that. You know, they're not too formal, but they do have that button up and down feature. So they give it a little bit more formality. So it's not too, so casual that it looks like a t-shirt. Next up, we have the club collar. The club collar, also a, one of my favorite, because again, it's not widely used. It's actually something that's not used by a lot of people, but it is something, you know, that it's a classic staple. I like this club collar because it's a contrasting club collar and it really gives that business image. As you can see, obviously it's a French cuff, so it is a business type shirt. You really can't dress that down. I really love the bar feature or the tie bar feature on that. Next, we have the spread. Now, for these three shirts that are coming up, there's a, like there's a, so many like different terminologies a lot of people use for them, but I'm going to refer to them as a spread semi-spread, widespread, all right? That, I, I think that's the best way to, to point them out. So this is a spread. This, this collar points down a little bit more. It's not too cut away. With this, you wanna wear a tie knot that's a little bit thinner, you know, not, nothing too thick, because that spacing is not too wide, or is not wide enough for a big, big knot. Um, again, beautiful shirt. Then we have the semi-spread. Semi-spread is the, the one that's mostly used. This is the one you see in most Nordstrom shirts and most H&M shirts. Almost everyone uses the semi-spread. And why? Because it's the most versatile. You can use almost any tie knot you can think of. Um, it suits almost every face shape. So this spread actually suits a lot of people and that's why it's the most um, the most one you see often. And finally, we have the widespread. This is my favorite type of collar because, and the one that I use a lot, because you can put in some big ties in here. Now, a lot of people like to match this one with the Windsor, full Windsor knot. I, however, just do a double four in hand. I love that knot, that's the one I use. For this spread, since it's so wide and the ga gaping in the neck is pretty big and that spread, you're gonna want a bigger tie knot. All right, so as you saw, I mean, the shirts, those are the basically the main collars you will run into. Like I said, if you want to, you know, avoid any trouble or you don't know if it's going to suit your face, always go for the semi-spread. All right, it's versatile, suits everyone. You you can't go wrong with the semi-spread. Right, all these shirts, if you guys like them, they're actually from a company called Gagliardi. I'll have the link below. I have all those shirts linked below, so you guys can um, just click them and buy them. Um, the company is great. The fit of them is amazing considering they're off the rack. The tapering is really good. I like it. It has darts in the back so it fits really good through the midsection. So if you're you know, a good slim guy like me or something, you're gonna love the shirts from here because they're great off the rack shirts. And they have a wide selection of them and of collars as you can see. All those again are from that company. So now I'm gonna get into sizing. All right, This is one area where a lot of people fail, tend to fail including me, I failed before, right? It's the sizing of your collar. First thing you, before you, 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 um, before you jump into sizing or what size you need, you gotta keep in mind what suit you're gonna wear it with and what tie. For example, if it's a slim suit with very slim lapels, I'm pretty sure you've heard this before, you know, you're going to want a narrow collar, as you can see right here, or as this one. You know, and, and obviously match it with a narrow tie, right? You can't use a narrow collar with a wide lapel and a thick tie. It's gonna look all out of proportion. It's gonna look funny. And like I've said before, menswear, it's a lot about proportions, right? And the same thing, if you wear a long collar as this one, like the one that I just showed you, you're going to want to pair it with a wide lapel and a thicker tie. Very simple stuff. 
But however, I'm going to warn you against small collars. As you can see right here, I made that huge mistake and I regret it. You know, this is an H&M shirt. I don't even use this shirt. I hate H&M. You know, their, their quality just sucks. But um, this is, look at this collar. It's just so small. This one is from Nordstrom. I like the fit of the shirt and I like to use it for casual settings. However, I really hate the collar because it's so small. The problem with the collar is you have to make sure it suits you. Right, like every, almost everything else in menswear. I tend to have a very long neck. A small collar doesn't help at all and actually just makes me look like I have a long neck. A longer collar covers most of my neck and helps me look better proportionally. All right, so you gotta make sure you look at yourself first before you choose a collar. Another horrible thing about thin collars is that when you wear it with a suit jacket, I'm pretty sure you've seen this happen before. You know, that is the most annoying thing. I hate when that happens. I mean, you can fix it with magnetic stays, but it still just looks weird. If you can get a strong, tall collar like the ones I showed you, especially this one, you know, it'll keep tucked into the blazer, you know, something like this. It'll always stay tucked in because those collars are so long. It stays nicely tucked, all right? So I would really advise against narrow collars. All right, after that is the spreads. When you're choosing your tie knot, you gotta keep in mind spreads. I talked a little bit when I, about it when I was showing you the shirts. You gotta keep in mind spreads, all right? So for the semi-spread, you're going to want a medium-sized tie knot. For the spread, which is the smallest spread, and there's not much room in there, you're not gonna wanna put in a full Windsor where half the Windsor is tucked in under the collar. That just looks weird. You're going to want something you know, narrow, like a, just, a double, just a forehand hand, not even a double forehand hand, all right? Or when you go with the widespread, then is when you, the, you put in you know, that wide um, full Windsor tie knot or the double foreign hand, right? So you gotta keep in mind those type of portions as well. So I mean, that's it for this week, guys, on collars. Collars is you know, something a lot of men tend to overlook, but it's something very important in shirts if you wanna be able to buy that perfect short, sorry, perfect shirt. You know, you want to keep in mind collars, make sure you get your proportions right, and if all else fails, always go with the semi-spread. Again, if you like all these shirts, the link to Gagliardi will be down below so you can shop any of these shirts. And thanks to the guys over at Gagliardi for sponsoring this video and making this happen. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.